Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held talks yesterday with the Hungarian President Yanis Adar that focused on means of enhancing cooperation between the two friendly countries in various fields. The two leaders also discussed the current developments of the regional and international arenas, in addition to issues of mutual concern. His Majesty the King expressed his thanks to the Hungarian President for the generous hospitality and warm reception, underscoring the fine relations linking the two countries and their friendly people. The talks also affirmed the importance of developing and expanding bilateral relations to achieve sustainable development goals for the best interest of the two countries and their people, as well as expanding cooperation horizons in fields, mainly the environmental, economic and investment sectors. His Majesty the King commended the great role played by the Hungarian President in supporting sustainability, stressing the dire need of addressing rapid climate change and the world's water challenge. His Majesty the King congratulated the Hungarian President for his appointment at the United Nations High Level Panel on Water, praising the President's efforts to preserve climate change at the top of the agenda in regional and international forums. During the meeting, His Majesty the King highlighted the steps taken by Bahrain to achieve UN Sustainable Development Goals and assigning 78% of these goals in the Government Action Plan, pointing to the great role of the Supreme Council of Environment and the Joint National Committee for Climate Change that is responsible for the activities, programmes and projects concerned with climate change in the country. Bahrain is among the countries that have signed and approved the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and presented its adaptation and mitigation initiatives to the Secretariat of the Convention. His Majesty the King and Hungarian President called for convening the Joint Economic Commission meeting at the earliest to activate the Memorandum of Understanding in the field of economic and technical cooperation signed between the two countries. They stressed the need for more consultation and coordination between competent authorities to benefit from the successful practices, to respect sustainable development and required policies to balance climate change obligations with sustainable economic and social development needs and consolidate environmental policies. The meeting was attended by His Majesty the King's personal representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Follow-up Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Ahmed bin Nathaya Al Khalifa, and Bahrain's Ambassador to Hungary, Abdullah Abdul Latif. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday in the Hungarian capital of Budapest His Imperial Royal Highness. Archduke of Austria, George von Habsburg von Ringen, to greet His Majesty the King on the occasion of His Majesty's visit to Hungary. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Imam bin Hamad Al Khalifa, ratified Initiate Law 4 of 2019 on amending a number of provisions of Decree Bylaw 78 of 2006 on unemployment insurance. Article 1 stipulated replacing the definition of authority in Article 1 and with the text of Articles 8, 11, 12, 14, 18 and 19 on Decree Bylaw 78 of 2006. Article 2 stipulated replacing the word authority with the general authority for pension funds in Article 29 of Decree Bylaw 78 of 2006. Article 3 stipulated removing the phrase or in the general authority for pension fund from the definition of remuneration in Article 1 of Decree Bylaw 78 of 2006 and phrase and the general authority for pension fund in the text of Article 37 from the same law. Article 4 stipulated that the Prime Minister and the Ministers, according to the relevant domains, should implement the provisions of the law, effective from the day following the date of the publication in the Official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Suba Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Suba, at Rifa Palace. The Deputy King affirmed that the long-standing relationship between Bahrain and Kuwait continues to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness the Mayor of Kuwait, Sheikh Suba Al Ahmed Al Sjaba Al Suba, to further expand them across all levels. The Deputy King noted that the joint efforts to strengthen the deep-rooted relations through the Bilateral High Committee for Cooperation have resulted in deepening of the between it, ties between the two nations and their peoples. The Deputy King and Sheikh Suba discussed a number of strategic issues and areas of shared interest 
and highlighted the importance of bilateral visits in advancing cooperation. She super expressed gratitude and appreciation to the Deputy King for the support it extends to the Bahrain Korea bilateral relationship. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Deputy King and Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman of the Bahrain Centre for Strategic International and Energy Studies, Dirasat, Dr Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa at Rifa Palace. During the meeting, Dirasat's newly issued book, Two Prosperous Decorates, which commemorates the accomplishments of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa over the past two decades, was presented to the Deputy King by Dr Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Deputy King highlighted the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements that continue to flourish under the leadership of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy King reiterated the Kingdom's commitment to achieving its far-reaching development goals, which place citizens at the heart of all development efforts. The Deputy King noted the book's success in capturing the different accomplishments that have been achieved during His Majesty's reign, stressing the importance of continually documenting Bahrain's rich history. For his part, Dr Abdullah bin Ahmed expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with the Deputy King and thanked him for the ongoing support he extends to Dirasat. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Rifa Palace, Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Suba Al Khalid Al Hamad Al Suba, where they reviewed the means of developing cooperation between the two countries and discussed a number of regional and international issues. His Royal Highness affirmed that the long-standing relationship between Bahrain and Kuwait reflects the brotherly relations connecting them, noting that Bahrain is keen on supporting and developing these relations. His Royal Highness welcomed the 10th session of the High Committee for Cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait, asserting the importance of its meetings to strengthen the ties between the two countries on all levels. Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of Kuwait's Emir, His Highness Sheikh Suba Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba, Kuwait's Crown Prince. His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba and Kuwait's Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jaba Mubarak Al Hamad Al Suba, and the wishes of His Royal Highness of health and happiness and for the people of Bahrain development and prosperity. The Prime Minister asked Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister to convey his greetings to the Kuwaiti leadership and noted that Kuwait and Bahrain have a common history and are linked by common denominators and ties of brotherhood and the unity of purpose and destiny. He highlighted Kuwait's developmental achievements in various fields, praising the efforts and initiatives of the Emir of Kuwait in serving humanity and supporting the Gulf's joint work. His Royal Highness noted the interest of developing the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations reflects the aspirations towards a more comprehensive cooperation in all fields. He expressed appreciation for the contributions of Kuwait in developing the developmental march in Bahrain, welcoming the promotion of Kuwaiti investments in the Kingdom and creating more economic and commercial cooperation. His Royal Highness affirmed the strengthening of the bilateral relations between the GCC countries constitute a fundamental pillar in supporting the joint GCC work and achieving integration and unity among them. For his part, Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his interest in supporting the brotherly relations between the two countries, affirming appreciation for His Royal Highness' efforts in promoting the relations between the two countries, which reflects His Royal Highness's wisdom and deep vision. He stressed that the Kuwaiti Bahrain relations constitute a model for future generations in depth of their high ties and the high level of understanding and coordination of these relations.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received the Charles I and head of the mission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the DPRK, Jo Min Yong Chol, residing in Kuwait, where they discussed cooperation between the two countries and means of enhancing them in various areas. His Royal Highness the Premier stressed the depth of cooperation and friendship in many fields in light of the mutual understanding and respect between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed satisfaction with the level of cooperation between the two countries, which reflects a common desire to reach higher levels for the interest of the two countries. He also praised Bahrain's keenness to expand cooperation with Korea and increase cooperation that serves common interests to boost development efforts. He lauded Korea's development in various sectors. Jimin Yong Chol expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness the Premier's support to the consolidation of relations and stressed the keenness of his country on boosting cooperation with Bahrain. He also lauded Bahrain's development and progress at all levels. Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, visited the Royal Command, Staff and National Defence College, where he was received by the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thea bin Saga al Nuemi, and Commandant of the Royal Command, Staff and National Defence College, Rear Admiral Abdullah Saeed Al Mansouri. The Field Marshal examined the advanced training methods that evaluate the capabilities of armed personnel of all types and witnessed the Fortified Fortress Training Drill. He was then briefed on the various steps of training and the way in which they sharpen the skills of the armed forces, as well as the necessary steps in decision making. The field marshal then toured the various departments of the college, where he followed up on its developmental plans and the results of its training programmes to date. The field marshal attended a discussion session on the advantages and disadvantages of a confederation system in the Gulf Cooperation Council states, where it is affirmed that a union between these countries would represent a guarantor of security for them in all aspects. During the event, the field marshal delivered the following statement. إن شاء الله بيكون تكون نتائج جيدة إن شاء الله على مستوى مملكة البحرين والمؤسسات العسكرية إحنا إن شاء الله متجهين إلى زيادة معاهد العلم والمعرفة والبحوث ومتى ما وصلنا إلى رقم إن كان في المملكة البحرين بقيادة جلالة الملك وتوجيهه أو إخواننا في دول مجلس التعاون نصل إن شاء الله إلى عدد من الجامعات العسكرية أو الجامعات المدنية أو مراكز البحوث العلمية بدون ما أذكر أنا يعني أرقام الدول الأخرى أو يعني مقارب للأعداد اللي عندهم إن شاء الله إحنا بنقول وصلنا إلى المستوى اللي نبغيه وهذا طريق طويل وإن شاء الله إحنا ماشيين فيه وبنوصل إن شاء الله بجهدكم وجهد الأخوان والشباب الموجودين في البحث والمعرفة ونتمنى لكم إن شاء الله التوفيق والنجاح إن شاء الله During the visit, the field marshal headed a meeting of the college's Supreme Council where he affirmed that the BDF enjoys continuous care and interest as per the directors of His Majesty King Hamad Benisa Al-Khalifa, the Supreme Commander 
which has resulted in many achievements in terms of combat capabilities and administrative organisation. The Field Marshal added that the BDF is keen on further developing and modernising its training programmes and aiming the officers with all the necessary provisions, which he said will translate positively on the ground while executing military duties. The Field Marshal wished the College every success in its pursuit towards further progress and development. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting yesterday, chaired by its Speaker, Fasiya bint Abdullah Zainal. The Council approved Decree Bylaw 54 of 2018, issuing letters and electronic transactions law. The Council also approved withdrawing the report of the Services Committee on a proposal to increase the hours dedicated to broadcasting the sessions and programmes of the Legislative Authority's work and activities. The Council also approved a proposal on operating Ahmed Kanu Health Centre in the Wadrath for 24 hours. A proposal on developing the mechanism of clubs and centres in the youth and women's development and on facilitating sports achievements was also approved. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, affirmed that two prosperous eras during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the reform project of His Majesty the King are two decades full of accomplishments that led Bahrain towards further developments. He highlighted that the Kingdom witnessed growth and progress in many fields and sectors and became a pioneer in human rights, as well as in the political, economic and social fields. He praised the steps taken by His Majesty the King that placed Bahrain on the world's map and praised the development of the Kingdom's freedom, legislation and law, as well as the openness and presence in the international events. He hailed the efforts of His Majesty the King in overcoming all challenges and providing high living standards for citizens, as well as maintaining security and stability of the Kingdom. Asali affirmed that the March of the Kingdom is moving towards more progress and achievements, especially through the democratic process and the role of both the Shura and Representatives Councils. He affirmed the important role of His Majesty the King in ensuring the development of the Kingdom and enhancing the unity of the people. Under the patronage of the Interior Minister, General Sheikh Rashid Abdullah Al Khalifa, the second Information Security Forum of the Cyber Trust Programme, THICA, was inaugurated today, organised by the Information and E-Government Authority and held at the Public Security Officers Club. President of the Court of Cassation and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Judicial Council, Minister of Education, Minister of Transportation and Communication, Interior Ministry Under Secretary, President of Customs and Senior Government Officials and experts attended. The Interior Minister asserted that the protection of information security was a challenge that should be tackled seriously, especially with the e-security threats. He highlighted the importance to work on the exchange of expertise and successful experiences in cyber security and to adopt modern methods in fighting digital crimes. He said that the continuation of holding this forum and its programmes and workshops would reinforce cooperation and coordination between concerned organisations. He highlighted the need for ongoing specialised training to safeguard communication and information technology systems. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Information and E-Government Authority and THICA team, wishing all the best. The President and the Information and E-Authority Authority, Mohammed Ali al -Qaid, expressed thanks and appreciation to the Interior Minister for patronising and attending the forum as part of his significant support to the Authority's projects and initiatives to enhance information technology in the public sector and the security protection of the government systems. The Interior Minister then honoured 14 government organisations that were accredited as part of the THICA programme for fulfilling its advanced, innovative and excellence levels. He also honoured the Arabian Gulf University for its cooperation with the Authority in conducting a study on the effectiveness of the THICA programme. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Kuwaiti Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Suba Al Khalid Al Hamid Al Suba. He welcomed his Kuwaiti counterpart, affirming that the historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait are prosperous on all levels. He noted that it is based on respect, appreciation, and unity of destiny, as the interest of both countries in various aspects of bilateral cooperation. For his part, the Kuwaiti Deputy Prime Minister expressed pride in the depth of the brotherly relations, asserting that they will remain a model of brotherhood in all fields. On a related note, the 10th round of the Supreme Joint Cooperation Committee for Cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait was held in Manama today, 
with the Foreign Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Suba Khalid Al Suba, represented Bahrain and Kuwait respectively. Bahrain's Foreign Minister affirmed that the bilateral relationship is based on deep and strong connections, which are premised on common understanding and empathy that the forefathers of both countries have established. Sheikh Khalid added that constant communication between the two countries is among the constant characteristics of this relationship, whereby today His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Suba Al Ahmed Al Suba, are keen on keeping carrying on with this time honoured tradition in the interests of the two people. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that Kuwait's positions on all matters that pertain to Bahrain will live long in the collective memories of Bahrainis because it represents the nature of the special relationship between the two countries. He added that this is now manifesting itself in Kuwait's support for Bahrain through the Balanced Budget Programme, which Bahrain is currently undertaking. Sheikh Khalid praised the important developmental role that Kuwait plays on a regional and global levels through its many initiatives, which renders Kuwait a role model for other countries to emulate. Sheikh Khalid said he looked forward to studying the various possible methods through which the Bahrain-Kuwait relationship can be developed further in all aspects, which can take the form of signing Memoranda of Understanding and by cooperating at the level of common customs policies, e-trade, the protection of the environment, arts and culture, as well as the signing of the Memoranda of Understanding between the Bahrain News Service and the Kuwait News Service, and another between the Chambers of Commerce of both countries. For his part, Sheikh Suba affirmed that Kuwait is committed to further developing its relationship with Bahrain and praised the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as Bahrain's positions that pertain to the security and stability of the region. The meeting then issued the following joint statement. In implementation of the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Mayor of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Suba Al Ahmed Al Jabba Al Suba, and the keenness to develop an enhanced joint cooperation and coordination to achieve the common interests of the two countries and the brotherly peoples, based on the brotherly historical ties and the common goals of the two brotherly countries, and in light of the joint efforts of bilateral relations, and in compliance with the common principles and objectives of the Gulf Cooperation Council for supporting fraternal relations between its countries and implementing the agreement for the establishment of the Joint Higher Committee for Cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait. The Joint Higher Committee for Cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait held its 10th meeting in Bahrain, headed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Kuwait's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Suba Khalid Al Ahmed Al Suba, with the participation of senior officials of both countries. The two sides reviewed means of cooperation and bilateral ties in various fields, and expressed satisfaction with the positive results achieved within the framework of the Joint Committee that fulfilled the aspiration of the leaders of both countries and achieved cooperation, integration and common interests. They affirmed keenness to continue developing bilateral ties in all fields. In this regard, the Bahraini side expressed appreciation to the Kuwaiti role in supporting Bahrain's efforts in many sectors. For the importance of supporting and sustaining bilateral cooperation, the two sides signed a number of memorandums of understanding for executive programmes an MOU in the field of customs, an MOU between Bahrain News Agency and Kuwait News Agency, an MOU in the field of e-commerce, an executive programme in the field of agricultural and marine wealth for the years 2019 to 2021, an executive programme for cooperation in the field of culture and arts for the years 2019 to 2021, and an executive programme in the field of environmental protection for the years 2019 to 2021. They also signed the minutes of the meeting, which included means of enhancing and developing cooperation between the two brotherly countries in a number of vital fields. The two sides welcomed the signing of the MOU between the two chambers of commerce and industry in the two countries, which contribute to enhancing cooperation, coordination and exchange of experience in the private sector and the strengthening of trade exchange. They expressed their aspiration to work together to activate what was signed and expressed desire to develop a comprehensive relationship in various fields and to sign agreements and MOUs and new work programmes in the future. They also reviewed a number of regional and international issues of mutual interest. The Kuwaiti Deputy Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs for the hospitality and warm welcome he received. He also invited the Minister and the Bahraini Committee members to visit Kuwait to hold the next committee meeting.
In the presence of the member of the Supreme Council and ruler of Sharjah, His Highness Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Mohammed Al Khazimi, the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the ceremony celebrating Sharjah's selection as World Book Capital 2019, held in the United Arab Emirates. Sheikh Ahmed expressed pride in participating in the ceremony, which coincides with the World Book and Copyright Day, stressing that Sharjah is the first Gulf capital to win the title. She added that Sharjah is a leading emirate that has received major cultural and intellectual progress in light of the support of its ruler. In a speech at the opening ceremony, the ruler of Sharjah hailed the international participation in the event and highlighted the efforts of those concerned in making the achievement. In his speech, UNESCO Assistant Director General for Culture, Ernesto Antonio Ramirez, and the UNESCO Director General, Audrey Azule, congratulated the Emirate of Sharjah for winning the title, stressing the importance of defending humanitarian heritage between UNESCO and the Emirate. General Secretariat of the Council of Representatives signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Judicial and Legal Studies Institute in a step that is intended to benefit from the expertise of state institutions. The Memorandum was signed on behalf of the Institute by Advisor Wael Rashid Bienli. The General Secretary of the Council of Representatives, Advisor Rashid Mohammed bin Ajma, referred to the importance of the specialised legal training in all related areas and its promise to further develop the legal system. For his part, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs, Khalid Asiyam, welcomed the step and affirmed the importance of executing practical training programs in the legal field. <laughs> 